1,109 journalists have been killed in the last 12 years. Most of them were silenced for reporting on uncomfortable truths, for covering stories about corruption, crime, and politics in their own country, in their own city. Many of these killings happened closer to us than what we imagine. Although there is a slight increase in the number of resolved cases, in figures remain appalling. According to this year's In Focus edition of the UNESCO report on world trends in freedom of expression and media development, almost nine out of 10 cases of killed journalists reported by UNESCO member states continue to be unpunished. We must work harder to ensure that harassers are prosecuted and we need to prepare ourselves to act against evolving threats associated with technological transformations. In addition to physical violence, of which killings are the ultimate form, journalists, and in particular women journalists, continue to face harmful acts that are increasingly prevalent online. We cannot stand idly by. The international community, member states, civil society, media, and the public must continue their mobilization and join forces for a stronger response. We need the support of all stakeholders. This includes parliamentarians, judicial actors, internet companies, NGOs, academics, media owners, and journalists themselves. Impunity for crimes against journalists affect the rule of law for all of us. It sends a terrible message to the journalists that they should be silenced or live in fear. It also risks limiting the information available to the public and the accountability of the people in power. We must bolster mechanisms to prevent and protest and protect journalists and to prosecute crimes committed against them. We must keep truth alive and continue to raise awareness about the fear and dangers that journalists face. Combating impunity is a commitment that many countries have taken, particularly in order to achieve the sustainable development goals of the 2030 Agenda. We must uphold and defend freedom of expression, press freedom, and freedom of access to information. With these words, I hope you will join us in commemorating the important day that is the International Day to End Impunity for crimes against journalists. Thank you very much.